What's up guys, Daddy Gbo here. We're actually at the real plane crash site for Marshall University. If you've ever seen the movie, We Are Marshall, well that's where we're at. It actually happened here, right behind me here. We're going to have clips from the movie, clips uh, from the real news footage, and our vlog all combined into one. Thank you for clicking on our video. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Daddy Gville's World. Along the Ohio River, there's a town called Huntington, West Virginia. In this town, there's a steel mill. Next to the steel mill, there's a college. And at this college, there's a fountain. Each year, the exact same day, the exact same hour, this fountain is turned off. Once it turns off, time stands still. All right, boys, let's set up straight. Find those ties, fix those collars. We are Marshall! Almost home. Splintered trees on a hill close to Huntington's Tri State Airport shows where the DC 9, carrying the Marshall University football team and others, scraped yesterday before piling into the next hill. Special FBI agents are working over the charred remains of the planes, 75 passengers and crew. At least 46 of the bodies are those of Marshall football players and coaches. National Transportation Secretary, National Transportation Safety Board Director, rather, John Reed, is in Huntington where he is beginning a month-long probe of the tragedy. Federal officials say the aircraft's flight recorder has been recovered and forwarded to Washington for analysis. It was the only chartered flight the Marshall team was to take this year. The team traveled to other away games by bus. It was also only the first accident involving a Southern Airways charter jet in its 21 years of existence. Marshall University will commence regular activities at 8 o'clock Wednesday morning. Uh, we're going back to school, and we're going back to school productively. We're doing this in honor of those who lost their lives Saturday night. A policy decision has been made that Marshall University, uh, rather appropriate, this university will attend the funeral of every student 
athletes from out of town, wherever he is. stuff out there from the plane crash. There's an aqua grid on there, look. Yeah. No, you can't. Can you? fucking found a piece of it. People probably do, but, you know. Can you talk to me? No, no we're not. Look, look, look. 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 Look a little sled that says Marshall. Somebody put it as, oh, he's made a tag for the flag. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Maybe so we can get a picture of your head walking. Well, the sled says we are Marshall on it. Somebody put it out here for somebody. Look at the flag. Holy thumb And then the flagpole they actually got here. United States flag and the Marshall Herd flag. Seen the movie quite a few times. And then when we move and everything, we got closer to here. You know, I've been wanting to come out and do a video on the real thing, and here we are. People died. Yeah, a lot of people died. I'm here. Yeah. People all died. But, but, not us. Up there, the road ends. You guys seen coming in, say the uh, road closed. So it ends up there. It would be cool to get my drone and fly it and everything over here to see more of it but actually the airport is like right over us here so you know you cannot fly a drone within five miles of an airport unless you notify like the FAA and this and that and I don't feel like doing all of that but you know the plane crashed right behind us here and right above us right there is where the airport's actually at we're going to try to make some more and we'll go down and see the fountain and uh, the tribute they put on the um, stadium and uh, the real, the actual original one, uh, what do you call it? Okay. Scoreboard. I'm not a sports person. I like cars, drag racing, stuff like that. I'm not a sports person, so sorry. But the real scoreboard is actually across the street from the actual stadium and stuff where they got all new stuff. But... Go. We'll go all check all that stuff out too. Really huh? Can I say that this really happened? Yeah. Remember the movie we watched the other night? Remember the movie we watched the other night? So you guys you guys wanted to watch it, so we watched it. And then you guys seen that plane crash? Yep. Right out there is where it really happened. You can't go you're seeing it now, you can't go out there. It looks like the trail somebody made. It's probably People going out there, but we're not going out there. Why? Why don't you down there and and go in there? Look at that! Look at that! The plane crash. There's trails and stuff. You see, there is trails and stuff, but I don't know. Maybe it's just people going out there and walking or whatever. Myself, I don't know if you're actually allowed because they built this. You know. A little deck and all that here for it. I think that's actually legally far as you can go. I'm not sure, but 
I'm not gonna take any risk and you know me and Juan and the kids going out there and and then next thing you know yeah and our van would get because literally there's no place you know it's just an old road it was probably an access road to the airport or something because it's right over the hill there but literally you're parked on the side of the road so yeah but we're gonna get back in the van we came here we'll go try to see some other stuff and yeah, we're gonna go to the actual uh, cemetery, the Spring Hill Cemetery. I think that's what it's called, and see, you know, the graves and everything. And uh, the kids have seen it; they got curious about it, and I've been curious about it. You know, seeing your real stuff. You know, if I see a true story or something, I kind of like going and looking it up. And I'm a history buff; I like stuff like this. And, you know, it's a tragedy, but. You know, and it's a part of the history of this town, so. Right here is the actual airport that the plane was coming to. And, uh... It just never made it, just crashed right over the hill. You know, it took us a little bit to get here, but you know, in the air, it really ain't that far. Buckle up. Oh, man, we can't go in here. We can't? No, we can't. Is this this thing like out in the chip box? Now, if you see. Right over that way is the landing strip, and I can't really, I don't want to get out and do a whole bunch of stuff up here, but right over there is the landing strip, and right over in them woods, straight ahead here, I'm zooming in, over in them woods is where it crashed. Landing. Coming back home. It was coming and landing here. Don't get crash. Right. That actually is sad, though. Yeah. Yeah. It was that close to being home. For those of you who may not know, this is the final resting place for six members of the 1970 Thundering Herd. The plane crash that took their lives was so severe, so, so absolute, that their bodies were unable to be identified. So they were buried here, together.
right here is the football coach. Rest in peace. And uh, there's three without names there and three without names there. But they got all the young men marked right here on this stone. Right ahead is the tribute and everything. Tells you about everything, tells you stories. Somebody's blowing the horn. Hi guys, we're back out here. Uh, footage you seen was another another day. This time, this just came out me and Henry. Came back out here to the graves of the six players that was unidentifiable. And uh, it's some of the new stuff that I found on it. And there's a uh, Nate, Griffin, Nate Griffin. Uh, you know, as if you, if you guys have ever seen the movie, he's the one that hurt his shoulder that was the uh, quarterback or whatever. Well, uh, you know. Survived. Well, he passed away in uh, 2000, 2001, and then uh, here's the monument right here. Go to the players. But a lot of things you don't see because there's other people, you know, that was involved with it that are very here. Like Nate. This is his headstone. Right here, and as you see, he's buried right along with his team members. Uh, I mean, his wife is excited, but uh, he is not wrapped away. Like I'm thinking, there's no big uh, death. But he is buried right here along with you know, all his team members, his wife, and everything. And uh, there, there's a bunch of other ones. Uh, you guys, you guys are on our Instagram, you got to see that. Uh, I've got pictures and stuff. Yeah, if you've never if you've been out, you know, uh, you know, come look at it. You know, admire it. Unless you're a young punk, and then stay away. Because uh, vandalism is not cool. right here guys I was told was the original uh, scoreboard but I'm not sure but it looks like it's from that period uh, but I was told from local people that live here and stuff that, <coughs> do you mean, that this is the actual original scoreboard
here at the uh, Marshall Stadium. I'm never, I've been here, but I've never actually been inside. So, everybody else that lives here that goes here all the time, I'm going to it in. But it's something new to us. So, and maybe you viewers are watching. And, uh, right here is the stadium, the outside of it, the front half. I came out here because we're going to the, look at this memorial they got on the front of it here. to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a video. You're getting all hung up, all hung up on imaginary problems. You gotta focus on what's real, man.